Hello everyone, it's Clara here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another flip through. Uh, this is a bee journal that I've been creating and then I'm, I'm done with it now. And I'm going to quickly do a flip through. And this uh, journal is available, will be available in my Etsy shop for anyone who would like to purchase it. And um, without further ado, let me start. So this is, uh, let me put this one here first. I'll show you this one first. This is the, um, as I like to call it, the, the sidekick <laughs> to the main journal that can go with you anywhere because it doesn't have, um, you know, it's not heavy. It's not, uh, it's easily, uh, it's portable and easily to, easy to carry around. So this is it. This is um, um, gold leaf here. I managed to put it on fabric. And these are in my favorite color, mostly black. I love black. And I was able to use it here because bees are also black. They have black on them. And we have a little uh, gold colored bee here. And the fabric says, uh, it says, but it's spelled with a uh, double E. So it says, be original, be creative, be inspired, be humble, be joyful, be creative, etc., etc., etc. So I really like this uh, fabric as well. And so when you open it, this is what you have in here. There's a lot of, uh, there's bright and uh, what I would call grungy. So this is just a very plain, 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 plain uh, journal. It has um, 72 pages back to front. And it's just got uh, digitals like these inside and coffee dyed paper, book pages, the usual that I like to put in my journals. And this is what's in here. And that's the last page. So that's this one. And all the strings are, the thread and everything is hanging. Uh, whoever buys this, if they don't like this, they can always cut them off. Um, I leave them because I like them how they are. So this is the main journal. The same fabric I put here in this frame. So this is just uh, was book board that we, uh, my daughter helped me create this frame. Gold leaf and um, distress ink and uh, what is it called? Um, PVC glue. To make it have this nice shine to it and they, they have this lovely gold bee that was given to me by um it was from in a happy mail came in a happy mail <laughs> and uh, this is the uh the spine a 10 centimeter spine and this is supposed to like resemble the the way bees fly around so this is what this is here and then at the bottom we have these um, black beads that I just put here. And these, of course, can also be removed if they're not, uh, or the threads cut short so that you only have this here. But I do like this. I like the sound they make. And then we also have the uh, book corners. I put them here and there. That's the front. This is all distressed. This is the side. This is the back. Also distressed around the edges to make it, you know, look a little bit um, grungy, I guess. And this has uh, 216 pages. This main journal here. Um, 216 pages, sorry, back to front. And you'll see another... Mm, 
and it has uh, how many signatures six signatures and it's uh, in the lap book style that i like to make so when we open it this is what we see here of course we have a pouch here for whatever and i just put this in there And then you open it like this, and you have a tuck spot here, and you open it like that, and you have more tuck spots in the pocket, which is also from Happy Meal. And we have this, which flips up, and I just put a tag in here simple tag that can be made into whatever and this is also a pocket here and this is some more uh, stuff for writing on this is some of my most uh, the grungiest uh, coffee dye paper that I make and we just have a tuck spot here as well. Room to label, to write, to stick and do whatever. So that's that here. And also when this journal, because it's quite full at the moment, as you can see, it's really thick. As you can see, if this part, the main part become, becomes too full, this can easily be be uh, cut away or you know here this part can come off and then you have more space to fill in here in the main journal if that's what you want to do and then here we have lots of thread all over the place and just this flips out writing space this is just a pocket with a an old birthday card I think it's from the 70s if i'm not mistaken and then here we have a tag in this pocket here it stays there and we have a tag as well here forgot to tie this but this is normally tied like this so obviously you open it and you have these uh, pro um, Polaroid photos inside this uh, uh, tracing paper this is tracing paper so you just see through obviously um, And then we have, I love this one, and another see-through pocket here. And this is just some paper to be used for whatever in the journal. Then we close this. And open it like this. This is blank. For your creativity and uh, these are just uh, this one has uh, the book this has 72 pages so this has 72 pages and uh, this booklet that I showed you for the side actually has 84 pages back to front mix them up so here we have even more writing space in here And uh, I, I, I had a comment saying that uh, they would like for me to um, oops, well, basically not talk. So I will make a um, another video that is going to be just uh, silent and just uh, I'll just be flipping through the journal every page. <laughs> so we have some very colorful papers here, but sometimes I can't help but 
you do have to describe a few things here and there but i understand her point and so this remains open i'll show you these pages i do love these digitals and you just have a, a leaf here and as i keep always saying if you want to work in the main journal you want to write in it you have to open this so that it lies uh, flat and also flip out the back as well which we will get to just now um, i think in this one i will show you every page so this is just an envelope here again, oh, here's some, uh, some glass beads. I like uh, making journals that have uh, a lot of writing space because I know how uh, therapeutic journaling can be, writing down your thoughts and stuff. So um, while I try to embellish, and I also like to leave space for writing, lots and lots of space. Like this here, this you can write here with a, a gold uh, pen or a white pen, you can write on black. I really love to see my uh, the journals that I've made, uh, what they look like now. So if any one of you watching uh, this uh, video who has purchased a journal from me, um, I'd really like to see what they look like now. <laughs> I mean, not no private stuff or anything like that, obviously. But uh, you can email me on Etsy if you're interested in showing me. I'd really love. I'll also learn as well how to, because I want to make functional journals as well, you know. So it would also teach you maybe someone needs more space. Maybe I shouldn't do it this way or that way. So that I can make journals that are, um, yeah, I would say mostly for writing in, I guess. And even just see what, what what demand is out there as well maybe people don't like journals for writing i don't know maybe some for art like this is um what is this i forgot what this paper is called but it's the one that you can paint on because it's thick watercolor paper right yeah but i've copied on this one but yeah maybe people like to have a nice cover and just um have something they can paint in and do their art in and write as well so we're just going through every page let me let me go faster i like this as well reminds me of honeycomb even though it only has four sides <laughs> this fabric here So it's got dark and some bright um, colors, like for example, these pages here. It's just the journaling card. And I run out of things to say. <laughs> So I will just flip through. I do like these digitals very much. They're from Kleeblatt Creations. Very nice. I'm using them again. Just a little charm here with these black beads. And then we get to the end of the 
uh, journal and this is the lab book here something to put stuff in we open it like this we have this here wait let me show you this side first maybe there's a small little pocket here this opens up there's another pocket here with this beautiful this is from willow journal willow journals i think that's what it's called uh, here we have a belly band some card to write on and an old birthday card it's in german i think from the 70s or 80s as well and then here we have here we have a place now for your photographs on this side that you can put some photos on or even journal on and here is a pocket and this one this one actually is supposed to be here there is a yeah there's a space to put a <laughs> a journaling card here and which is this one and i'll put it in here Okay, and then we can close this, open this. Nice digital. We flip this up, and you have uh, pockets here, just simple ones like this. Bring it down, and there again, they're backed onto coffee dyed paper. belly band here with these specimen cards that I made. Let's see this is all plain and can be worked on and made beautiful of course by the owner. And then we have these pockets down here as well. I just put some plain cards in here. And this one as well, just a plain little right. So I do really like this setup here. Places for journaling cards, etc. etc. Pocket here, here as well, belly band, and these ones down here. Right? So that's the journal and nice and um, long <laughs> with this as well included here so from this side all the way to this side and I can't say enough how much I love this journal I really do it was such a pleasure to make I love this this style and oh and here's a pocket as well in here this uh, window pocket and uh yeah that is it so as i said i'll have a um silent flip through i don't have my daughter's beautiful hands to do the the silent flip through this time but so you have to bear mine <laughs> and uh yes that's it for now and oh yeah this measure um 15 centimeters by 21 centimeters i don't know in inches it's what five and i don't know whatever five nearly six inches by uh eight nearly eight and a half inches <laughs> um that's it for me thank you very much thank you to all my new subscribers my channel is uh um 
yes, a place you can come to watch flip-throughs, basically. All right, thank you, and until the next time.